There's one other way of measuring the spatial separation between two points, and that was this idea of path length. And that is just the length of a path. Not necessarily a straight line, but some other path that might connect two points on a map. In special relativity on space-time diagrams, the um, analogous concept is something known as proper time. And that's defined to be the time interval as measured by a clock, not necessarily an inertial clock, that connects two events in space-time. So let me write that out. So the proper time between two events is the time as measured by a single clock, not necessarily an inertial clock, present at both events. So let's look at some pictures for that. Here in just space, not space-time, uh, path length might be this thing in green. Rather than taking the shortest distance as the crow or the New York City pigeon flies, um, you might, maybe because it's a nice day out, you take a little longer walk. And you could measure the length of this path, and that would be that particular path length. Each path would have a different length, perhaps. What about in space-time? All right, so this would be the world line of an inertial clock moving at a constant um, velocity. We could have another clock that doesn't move at a constant velocity. Maybe it stays at rest for a little bit and then goes to the left and then ends up there. So this could be a world line of a non-inertial clock. So um, non-inertial just means that it does not move at a constant velocity. And here, this is a world line of an inertial clock. So we could ask, all right, what time does this green clock say when it's at event A? And then it stays at rest, goes to the left a little bit, goes over here fast, and then it is present, physically present, at event B and we could ask what time does the clock read at event B. And the difference in those clock readings, we would call that the proper time for, um, for uh, associated with this path for these two events in space-time. So let me say a little bit more about this. So these are not unique, by which I mean they depend upon the path. So this is a property not just of point A and B or event A and B, but the particular path you take um, between them. Lastly, let me say a little bit about the word proper, because that's often the source of confusion. Proper in um, current English is often taken to mean correct or right, and so there's a sense that this must be the correct or true time. But that's not how this word is being used here. It's proper in the sense that it's time that's the property, property of a particular clock. So it's particular to the clock that follows the particular um, world line path through space-time. So the root here is um, propre, uh, from French, or proprio in Spanish, which means own, like your own time. Um, so own is a possessive adjective. So again, proper time here does not mean the correct or right time. It means that the time that is a property of a particular clock.